another irregular upload. Today I've gone for a bit of a hike, Amber's with me. I've got some food in my bag and I just climbed this pretty big hill and now I'm just coming over the top and about to enter the woodland. I'll just show you my view right now. There's quite a lot of snow and there's Amber. I'm gonna head into this woodland, find somewhere pretty sheltered and make a fire cook some food up, maybe make a cup of tea like a true Englishman and yeah see what happens come along follow the journey. I've got my hand drill set with me so if all goes to plan we'll get hand drill ember and we'll take that ember into a flame which we can then boil water on and cook on. So now I need to work out how to get down this steep hill into the woodland. Food wise, I've got one skillet, I've got a couple of eggs, a couple of sausages, some vegetables, a bit of butter, uh, that's about it. So it's just going to be a quite simple bit of food today, everything in one pan and then finish off with a few eggs on top. Easy but tasty. So there's quite a few tracks. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but that could well be rabbit. So yeah, rabbit wags. Well, this place looks pretty nice for a camp. So it looks like there's a bit of an old shelter down there. I think that's where I'm going to light my fire, make a cup of tea and cook up a bit of food. But first I need to get down to it without falling over and rolling down this hill. So I'll have to be a bit careful. <sighs> Made it. So I don't know who made this shelter, but it's not looking too good. However, what I do see is, look, these are cramp balls, King Alfred cakes, Daldinia concentrica, great tender. There's a small one there, there's a few young ones there. You can tell they're young because they're kind of red. They have like a reddish colour to them. Black ones are the best for fire lighting. If you find red ones, they're not so good. They're normally, they're normally fresh, you need to dry them out. If you're going to dry them out, uh, just wrap them in some paper towel or put them in a cardboard box for a few weeks and then they should go black and then they'll be, feel really light and they're great for fire lighting. Anyway, speaking, speaking of fire, I need to get a fire going pretty quick because I'm thirsty for a tea. So that, that cramp ball there is black, that's ripe and it's good for fire lighting, Amber's going crazy. And then the red ones aren't so good. What? Whoa. Uh, whoa. 
crazy dog. So I've got a tarp with me. I've got a hand drill, which is elder. We'll talk about that later. And I've got a few. Uh, I've got a few caveman blankets. So one there and one there. They're basically hides that I've tanned. It's just been experimenting with different different materials for tanning, and they make a great uh, carpet for a. Uh, for, for anywhere really, or for fire lighting onto wet ground. Yeah, they're good. So it's still snowing. It's quite it's quite windy today. It's still snowing. There's quite a bit of snow on the trees. But um, I need to get a fire going. So the first thing I need to do is get some kindling, some dry thin sticks. Those sticks will then go into my flame, the small flame that I'll create somehow, whether I use my fire seal, fire piston. Maybe even do a hand drill, being a friction fire. We'll see. First thing I need, as I say, is sticks. Very thin, pencil lead, thick sticks. Super thin, super dry. We need dry sticks. We need them now. So I've collected some dry sticks. I've got it wrapped in this deer hide on the ground, away from the, uh, the moisture, away from the snow. What I think I'll do is I'll use this. So rather than use my tarp, I'm going to try and use this as my shelter. I've just been clearing the entrance for some reason it's caved in or someone's blocked it up. I've just I've just been opening it up the entrance just to just to make it a bit more entrance like and then I can get in there and light a fire. Nice piece of oak. Great for the barbecue. happy with that it's taken maybe four minutes five minutes um, just kind of rearranging the sticks but now I've got an, an entrance or an opening I can get through into there I can put my deer hides down and get on with the video here's my selection of, of dried sticks there's some thicker thinner and extra thin sticks in there so I'll leave that there for now. Actually, I might move those into the little shelter. Whew. Now it's time to get a fire going. To get the fire going, I'm going to use this piece of elder and some chaga. But I've just realised as I was walking here, walking through the trees and under the branches, I've kind of snapped it. So I can't use this anymore. However, what I can do is if I, I just cut away the broken end and then just clean it up a bit like this so it makes it a little bit shorter but hopefully it'll work so this is my drill this is my piece of chaga chaga is a great fungus grows on mainly silver birch um, there's uh, medicinal properties you can make tea 
but I just like to use it for fire lighting. For using a hand drill on chaga, what you'll notice is the chaga is made up of lots of different layers. Well, not layers, but you'll find harder bits and softer bits. What you don't want is the hard bit, you don't want the soft bit, you want a bit in between. Something you can dent, something that takes a little bit of effort to get your nail into, but you don't want it to be crumbly. You don't want to, you don't want to dig your nail in and for it to suddenly crumble, and you don't want to use some of this stuff because this is rock hard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this down here just to show you. So I just placed it down between my legs there. I'm going to use the spindle on it like this. And then I'm going to drill downwards. I've not bothered taking any of the bark off. I'm just going to go straight for it. And it'll take a little bit just to warm it up. Once it's warmed up, I'll then apply a lot more pressure. Ooh, and I've just broken the top. Uh-oh. That was not looking good. I just spit on my hands just to just to give me some more friction. You can see it already smoking, I can smell it. I'll do a few more, quite hard pressure. Just move the camera. Wow, that was actually quite hard work, but it's all in the practice. Right, let me put the camera back up there. I hope you're still in focus and still recording. I hope the battery's not died and the memory card hasn't filled up. So I just realized as soon as I put the camera up there, it was out of focus and then my, my phone went into battery saving mode which then turned the camera off. Anyway, after that I spoke to myself for about two or three minutes and it was absolutely pointless because it wasn't recording. But here we are, there's the ember that I put down there, I put, the, I put that down there for a few minutes afterwards and uh, continued talking and I was saying, what I was saying was that this is gonna, light, this is gonna keep smoldering for maybe 10 minutes, maybe even half an hour to be honest with you. These are really dense and uh, yeah, there's no rush in these going out. So if I just give it a blow. You can see everything spread from the hole that we built the, uh, well, that we got the ember in, and it spread to the outside of it. That's because it was like this, and the wind's blowing that way, and uh, I was talking to you guys while that was down there. Anyway. So I'm going to put it down once again and I'm going to get some little fine shavings and my, in fact I've got some fat wood. I'm going to try and shave some fat wood shavings onto this and um, I've got a pretty good feeling just using the fat wood that we'll be able to get the fat wood shavings blown into a flame and hopefully put some small sticks on it and then we'll have a flame to make our cup of tea or then we'll have a little flame so we can um, have a fire. So 
in here I've got a few bits of fat wood. I don't need much. In fact, I'll just use this. So I've got some small bits of fat wood and using my knife, I'm going to just shave some of these off. Once I've shaved them off and created a small little 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 bundle, then what I'll do is I'll put them onto the glowing ember right in the middle of that of that hot ember on the uh, charger and blow them into a flame. Right, I think that'll do. Okay, so there's a there's our smouldering charger. These are the shavings we're gonna put onto here. But before we do that, I'm just gonna sort through some of these dried sticks I've collected. So that when we get a flame we can put these sticks directly onto them. So they're quite large, let's get some thinner ones. I've just come out from the shelter, I've got all my things prepared. I'm now going to put my very fine shavings, and you, you can see how windy, it's quite windy today. So this is the fat wood, uh, it's basically really resinous pine, pine wood, and you'll see that hopefully, we'll see that go up into a flame. Before it does that I'm going to quickly put it down so that I'm ready with what I need. So put that down like that. You can see how close this is to, to going up into a flame. Oh, and there we go. There we go. We are, we've got a flame. I'm going to put all my little bits of elder onto this. So this is the, the, these small bits of elder that I broke up. And I'm thinking about the direction of that wind. I know the wind's blowing in this way, so if I can create a wall behind the heat, it means all the heat and the flame will go into that wall of wood and the wood will catch. So we kind of lost the flame due to my talking. But it's all good, we'll get it back. So I'm just building it up, but like I was saying, build it up and all that heat will flow into the wood, will dry it out and hopefully, well in a few minutes or two, maybe a minute, it'll catch light. So this is my view right now, I've got the fire going, my toes are absolutely freezing, I've got my phone on charge, which is the one that just died while I was doing the hand drill, but fortunately I got there just in time before it died, and um, I realised that it was all out of focus at the end, which I'm very sorry about. Anyway, the fire is picking up now, I've built it up, put lots of wood on, and now I need to get some food, get some water on the go, and uh, yeah, a cup of tea. Well, that should be enough for a cup of tea. Get the lid on.
And there we are, there's our swinging pot hanger. It's all about the simple things in life. So while I'm waiting for the kettle to boil, I've been eating a few of these nuts. These are walnuts. These are, where did I get these from? Um, these are from a walnut tree, obviously. I don't know. I've collected so many walnuts over the last, well, when they're in season. So back in, say, October, November. There's yeah, nothing there, you don't like them. Yeah, great energy. Um, I can't remember exactly where, but whenever I see a walnut tree, I always plot it on my phone, in my maps. Even if it's not, you know, even if it's May, June, July or February. I'll plot it on my phone so that I know when it's walnut season, I can go back there and collect some walnuts. Walnut, amber, leave, 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 ambers. Oh, ho, ho. good catch. Well, the fire's burnt down nicely, so it's time to cook. But I might get rid of this because it's kind of in the way. Now, Skillet time. So I think everything's cooked in there. All I need to do now is add the egg and wait another minute or two. So I'll just mix it up a bit. Dinner, oh, lunch is served. Woo. There's something about cooking food outdoors over a flame. I don't know. It just tastes so much better. If I had merch... Okay, here's a question, here's a question. If I had merch, should I go for 
something like cooking good in the woods. I think that would be good merch for me. Cooking good in the woods. What do you guys reckon? Comment below. Anyway, with 6,000 subs, I'd probably only sell two. So um, don't worry, there's no merch yet. But maybe one day I'll have merch in the form of t-shirts. Cooking good in the woods. Question is, would you buy one? I would. Would you? Huh? Well, it's only fair that Amber gets a bit, and this is a bit of fried egg. Here you go. Lucky dog. Well, I hope you guys have all enjoyed the video. It's a bit of a last minute decision to come out. It was actually, I just woke up, there's loads of snow, and I thought, pack the bag, get out, and do something. So yeah, it's still snowing outside. So uh, I wanna put the fire out, although it's pretty much gone out. And I wanna pack up my things, I wanna head back. I've got about maybe just over an hour's hike back home. Um, I've done I've done a trip today where I've walked I've left home and I've walked to a nice place to have a fire and um, yeah cook some food up and have a cup of tea bring amber and I remember this shelter from about two years ago but you know it's not the sort of shelter you'd want to camp in especially when it rains but when it's windy or snowy I guess it's just about all right. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button, maybe comment, tell me what, gu what you guys want to see, and uh, yeah, I'll be back soon, one day, I'm not sure when, but it'll definitely be another irregular upload. See you then. Don't forget to subscribe.